Uh, in the summertime, I'm working on my um, conditioning, getting ready to play longer minutes, um, working hard on defense, getting um, trying to stay out of foul trouble, just working on stuff like that. <laughs> He did. Um, Trez been doing great in practice. He's been making a lot of threes. He's been taking care of the ball. He's been um, making better plays and running the plays along. And just like he, like he said, I've been trying to take him under the big man on my wing. And he was doing the same for the guards. Caleb came in. He's been helping Caleb them push along. And um, he's been helping BJ and Ron um, step up too. So Trez been doing a great job. I'm just happy to have him. Uh, we have a great team. Like I said, we have new players, Caleb and Chris. We have a lot of players stepping up, BJ, Ron, Chino. Um, we'll be fine. Uh, we just got to come out here, play our game, um, and we'll be fine. Listen to coach, and we'll, we'll be great. Uh, I think I have to be more. Um, this year, like I said, um, I had to step up as a leader this year. Me and Trev, and this year they're going to expect more from me. So um, this year I'm just trying to give it my all and just go as hard as I can. What are the questions in the back camera to the right? Rakeem, as someone who got to experience the Georgetown rivalry quite a bit, can Duke-Syracuse kind of replace that for you all, and can that be the next big rivalry for college basketball? Uh, those two years against um, Georgetown, that was, some big, that was some big years for me. Um, that was a big rivalry right there. And playing Duke last year, those two times, those were some tight games. And being able to play in those games, is, they were great. That, that could start some history right there. So um, if that starts a rivalry there, it could be good. but. Um, Duke has their rivalry with North Carolina, and we don't want to mess that up with them.